When you run your own business, it's pretty normal to feel that there just aren't enough hours in the day for you to get everything done that you want to do. Working more and more hours, however, is rarely the answer. And if you continue to do that, that way burnout beckons. So here are five ways that you may not have thought about where you could be wasting time in your business. Stop doing these things and discover the gift of more time and better results for your ELT or ESL freelance business. My name's Rachel Roberts and I help ELT, ESL and MFL freelancers design and market a business which helps you to earn more while working less. So let's go through the five ways that you could be wasting time in your business that you need to stop doing to free yourself up for what really matters. Number one, waiting until you feel more confident or more motivated to get something done. It may occasionally happen that you have a burst of inspiration or that a stretch of time suddenly opens up and enables you to get something off your to-do list. But generally speaking, if you're waiting for anything like that to happen before you start doing something, you could be waiting a long time. You might as well be saying, I'll get started when the planets align or I'll get started when I find a four-leaf clover. What actually works is to develop a routine routine and to stick to it. Maybe you don't have much time and that's often a reality and I'm not going to tell you to make more time or that you should be working longer hours or weekends. Instead of that you need to work out what you can actually commit to and stick to that and over time even taking little steps forward will have a much bigger impact than waiting until the time is right. And if you take notice of the other four things I'm going to say, you will have more time anyway. Similarly, don't wait for confidence or inspiration before you start. Start and the confidence and inspiration will come. Two, letting perfect be the enemy of good enough. Are you always fiddling about trying to make things absolutely perfect and spending far too much time faffing about on Canva or editing your videos to remove every last um and er? You don't have time for that. And anyway, AI can remove the ums and ers now. Of course, you want things to be professional, but you need to know where to draw the line and when something is good enough. Very often, this resistance to putting something out there until it's perfect is actually a form of avoidance. Set yourself a time limit to get something done and stick to it. You can help yourself along with this by committing to send what you've done to a buddy, for example, at a particular time. And then you can't spend too long on it. Ultimately, done is always better than perfect because you can always refine and improve on the next iteration, but not if there isn't an iteration to start with. Number three, delaying getting started because you're doing research. Now, I do think that it's a good idea to do some research before you start on something. You don't want to create a product without having some idea whether it's something that somebody wants. Equally, you don't want to spend a lot of time putting a course onto a platform and then discover that it's the wrong platform. So a certain amount of research is absolutely sensible. However, I do often find that people can get really stuck in this research phase because what they're actually looking for is total certainty and they're not going to find that because most of the time we only really find out what works when we try things out. This often shows itself when people are looking for advice on what platforms they should use for digital courses for example. I see posts all the time in Facebook group where people are asking for advice on this and the problem is that nobody can really tell you what's the right platform for you because it depends on what you want that platform to do. So by all means ask around and have a look at a few reviews but ultimately you need to get clear about what it is exactly you want that platform to do, what your budget is and then you just need to try it. Start with something as minimal as possible in terms of the investment that you're making into it Try it out, see how it works, and then you can make the next decision about whether to continue with that platform or whether to try something else. Number four, being what's sometimes called a busy fool. This is when you're super busy and doing loads of things 
but you're not actually achieving that much. And if this is you, you need to look very carefully at what it is you're actually doing in a day. Maybe you're getting sucked into spending too long on social media or checking your emails too often. Are all the things that you're doing actually necessary and a priority? Do you even know why you're doing the things that you're doing? Looking back to my last video on strategy and tactics, is what you're doing actually a stepping stone towards implementing a strategy which you are at least fairly confident will help you achieve a key goal or even if the task actually is necessary ask yourself if it's necessary for you to be doing it yourself or in the way that you're currently doing it. For example, maybe you're doing repeated tasks manually, which could actually be automated. Take note of everything you do for a few days and see what you discover. Number five, saying yes to the wrong things. Do you ever find yourself saying yes when you really want to say no? because you want to be nice or because you can't work out how to say no? If so, just stop it. Your time is very limited and therefore very precious and you owe it to yourself and your loved ones to guard it carefully and to make sure that you're using it in the best possible way, whether that's taking your business forward or resting and looking after yourself or having fun. If you find it hard to say no, get into the habit of asking for a little time to go away and think about it or to run it past someone else. And that can then give you the space and perspective you may need to be able to put your foot down however nicely. Remember, if, like most of us, you're already pretty busy, anything that you say yes to will ultimately probably mean saying no to something you're already doing, whether that's a money-making activity or getting some exercise or sleep or spending time with loved ones. What are your priorities? In the next video coming up on your screen, I'm diving into how you can create strategies and tactics in your business which will actually work for you.